My name is Gary Butterfield. My name is Cole Ross. And you're listening to Best Quality Vacuum, the Duck Feed Show, talking about Breaking Bad, El Camino, and Better Call Saul. And this week we're talking about Bullet Points, which is an episode directed by Colin Buxey, written by Moira Wally Beckett, and it originally aired on August the 7th of 2011. You'd be forgiven thinking bullet points refers to one thing. Mm. <laughs> might um, the, might uh, I add that it is two things. Yes. Ooh. Um, the primary plot is uh, Skyler preparing Walt for the big reveal. They're coming out to their family about this gambling winning. Yeah. Quote unquote uh, gambling winnings. Yes. Yes. And uh, buying a car wash yeah. uh, is kind of the first part of the plot. Uh, Hank is sniffing around Gail Bedecker. Mm -hmm. You know, and uh, making Walt very nervous. Walt starts kind of steering him uh, from this, even though this is a dead end. Yeah. Like if Walt ever did anything, Hank's basically like, yeah, we got our guy (laughs) back to being a sullen, you know, uh, bed guy for me. Mm -hmm. Um, And then uh, the kind of moving action of this, the the climax and and cliffhanger is Jesse's behavior at this point uh, is finally becoming a problem. Yes. Mike and Gus get directly involved. Yeah. Um, and boy, was I sweating bullets at the end of this episode on the first yeah. watch, uh, because yeah. the episode opens by showing us, reminding us that Mike has it in him. Yep. Yeah. Uh, the swerve it takes is really great. Yes. Uh, again, I really, really like Gus being smarter, uh, <laughs> than just, you know, well, yeah, know, what if I shoot him? Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, it's, it's, it, it's much more, you know, it's much smarter than that. What if, what if I beat him to death? That's your solution to yeah. everything to go. I God damn it. Put the box cutter away and use your brain. <laughs> um, so this this is a character and relationship episode up until the end. Mm-hmm. Uh, in the beginning, you know, the yeah, action yeah. stuff uh, here. So there's not a whole lot of trivia or anything to this. Yeah. Uh, <sighs> some trivia, though. Uh, <laughs> this episode establishes Jesse's fondness for the Sonic the Hedgehog kart racer, Sonic and Sega All-Star Racing. Uh, yes. which he is uh, p- p- play, playing with a lady in this episode. And then we'll be playing with Brock and Andrea a little bit later on. Uh, I think that's a weird detail. Uh, 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 so, J- Jesse's taste in video games is a fun thing to think about. It is. Yeah. yeah. Um, yes. <laughs> but a um, uh, little, little you know, fun fact, coincidence about this that I enjoyed reading. Uh, Jesse's dub actor in the French version of Breaking Bad is also the same, as, uh, the same person as the dub actor for the French version of Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah. Yeah. And it is amazing to Silly just dogs, bitch. <laughs> yeah. It is amazing <laughs> to just imagine all of Jesse's lines being read by, I mean, in my head is Jaleel White as Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It'd be great. Yeah. And then uh, the guy, the, the lady who plays Tails voice is Walt. <laughs> like, <laughs> the uh, Heisenberg. <laughs> Um, we get to see Gail's no- notebook, which is full of great stuff, uh, <laughs> recipes and everything, including a far side comic. And they're allowed to do this because Gary Larson is a fan of the show. I love that. That's so sweet. Yeah. Uh, and, you, you know, know, if your show gets big enough, uh, you get to do stuff like that. I love that. Yeah. Uh, they, they, they throw us a bone in terms of action. It's been a minute since something badass has happened. Yes. You know, in this, so it begins with a cold open that is badass. Yeah. Uh, we've got Mike riding in the back of this refrigerator truck uh, with a shipment yep. of Pollo Hermano supply, mostly the buckets of batter that we saw them lowering the bags of meth into. Um, uh, so, oh gosh, what was I going to say about this? Remember that whole episode of Abject Suffering we did about um, uh, uh, about Convoy? And talking about yes. the trucker lingo in that, so many people wrote us to correct us that uh, when they when they're talking about a reefer, they're not talking about marijuana with that. They're talking about a refrigerated truck, okay? Uh, which is what this is. This is they're in the back of a reefer. Ah, oh. you know, convoy aims to educate as well as entertain. <laughs> you know about the great truck wars, <laughs> yeah, the McCall Wars of seventy eight or whatever. <laughs> Um, Jonathan um, Banks, A, is wearing a very a very good old man winter hat with the ear flaps, yes. which is great. Uh, but you can see um, fog coming out of his mouth. This was not actually a refrigerated truck, or the you know, ret- refrigeration wasn't active. They didn't want to freeze one of their at- main characters. Um, uh, instead, to make that effect, they had a little box full of dry ice in his mouth. I, I read that too, and I kept thinking that can't be the best way to do this. No, like no. you know, you're out in the middle of of New Mexico mm-hmm. in a full winter gear in a non refrigerated refrigerator truck. It's mm-hmm. probably pretty hot. Yeah, 
I would probably have rather had the refrigeration on than have a, like a little poison pill in my mouth. Yeah. Think you about, know? think about dry ices. It'll fuck you up real good. Yeah. It's pretty dangerous, right? Yeah. I always think it's weird that you can just buy it and they put it in drinks and stuff mm-hmm. and they're just like, don't accidentally put this in your mouth. It is in your drink, but don't, uh, you know, don't yeah. mess up. Yeah. Um, yeah, that, 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 this felt weird to me, <laughs> but like, you know, go, that's great. Maybe it, it would have been worse if it was cold. Maybe. Um, you know, the truck screeches to a halt. He readies his gun. He's listening. Yeah. You know, and the, the truck's being hijacked. Mm-hmm. You know, they shoot the driver and Mal, you, you know, Mike gets irritated at this. You know, mm-hmm. Mike doesn't like civilian damage. It gets in position hiding under a bunch of boxes. Yeah. You know, uh, and they shoot the shit out of the, the truck. I, uh, I, from all angles. I, 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 I love the pacing on this because it's just like one shot, two shot, and then just a hail of bullets coming through mm-hmm. from all angles. It's really fun. Um, it's amazing that Mike doesn't get killed. Oh yeah. Yeah. Like we're going to find out he, th- he's really banking on some quinky dinks. Yeah. Yeah. Here, I, I don't you know, know that he has the best strategy for this. <laughs> no, it works out because it's Mike, but this, feels very based on them just not aiming slightly lower. Yeah. 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 Um, but they're shooting through the walls and they are um, uh, piercing the buckets, right? So all this yeah. batter is draining out. Um, they had, so the crew had to uh, drill and place 380 squibs in all sides of the truck, in all sides of the truck to make this happen. Yeah. Um, to get this uh, to go. Impressive. It looks real. Mm-hmm. Uh, the car tell guys open the truck and get in and Mike just takes them out. Yeah. You know, three taps, the two of them, uh, absolutely covered in fry batter. And he goes out, uh, puts on his hat and knows his ear has been grazed. Yeah. Uh, and a part of it is like flap down. <laughs> um, it's like floppy. He tries to put it back and it falls down. It's so gross looking. Uh-huh. <laughs> and he's just like, fuck, <laughs> you know, <laughs> this shit sucks. I don't need this shit. The comic tying on him putting it back and then him only making the face after it flops back down. Yeah. Yeah. This ain't working. God, Jonathan no. Banks is a treasure. He's really good. Yeah. Uh, so we, we uh, cut over. Uh, it's 3 a.m. Skylar can't sleep. Uh, she wakes up and jots down something on a legal pad uh, here. They're bringing back everything from season one because this is also her fiction writing. Mm-hmm. Uh, coming back. Yeah. Because she's writing dialogue. Yes. Uh, here. The next morning, she's flipping through printouts about gambling. And then uh, she's doing research. Uh-huh. She's doing research for a short story she's writing that she's going to enact, basically. <laughs> um, she takes Walt to a Gambler's Anonymous meeting, uh, A, to set up the cover, right? Uh, yep. They have to, you know, establish uh, you know, establish this in case anybody comes looking. Um, and, you know, this is, th- 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 this is also a way for them to, a way for her to research, to get, yeah, uh, get th- things to use, right? Uh, and, you know, as the person gives a very on-the-nose speech, you know, it's amazing the stories you tell yourself to justify it. Yeah. yeah. You know, I, my family was robbed, but I was the one who robbed them. Yeah. Uh, you know, back at the house, Skylar's on the phone with Marie talking about dinner. You know, uh, and Walt looks absolutely miserable. He looks miserable during the meeting as well. Yes. You know, uh, and just, you know, tonight's the night. There's no turning back. We're going to do it. And they start practicing some blackjack. Yeah. You know, uh, doing counting cards. He goes into uh, teacher mode. She's like, you don't have to teach me. Just do it. Mm-hmm. Chop, chop. <laughs> and he, he rightfully says, don't chop, chop me. <laughs> Never say um, chop, chop to a person. That's a- If somebody, it's, is, is chop, chop worse, uh, shushing or a snap? A snap yeah. makes me see red. Okay. If somebody looks at my face and snaps, uh, I want to end their life right there. Mm-hmm. Like that is, that destroys me. All chop of- chop is very irritating. Mm-hmm. Shush is very irritating. Yeah. Um, I think a snap would be, yeah, I, I think that's pretty, uh, okay. Uh, chop chop is a little bit, uh, a little bit more irritating than a shush to me. Mm. But yeah, I, I I'm very fortunate that n- not a lot of people have snapped in my face. Like that isn't a thing yeah. that I have a lot of basis on. I could imagine it pissing me off. Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's not like it happens to me every day or anything like that, but <laughs> every time it's happened to me, I remember Ugh. it's like the velvet underground of gestures. <laughs> like it hasn't happened that much, but every single person that's happened to has started a band. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. So, uh, he doubles down and he busts, you know, she gets 21. <laughs> and he's like, uh, you know, um, and she says, oh, you're, you know, let's try again. He's like, well, it's about the number of hands, mm-hmm. you know? And he's like, shouldn't I not even be doing this? I'm in recovery. Mm-hmm. And she's like, you know what? You're right. Yeah. Let's go to the living room and work over our bullet points. And you might be thinking, <laughs> didn't we see some bullet points in the truck? We did. Those are points of bullets going through. However, 
in the bullet points yeah. eh, of the wiki. Yeah. <laughs> or not the wiki. Yeah. Sorry, the fandom. Yeah. Oh, man, uh, I'm happy that that information is there, but also I really wish that it uh, maybe wasn't like it was. for kids who are, who are just learning how to... Maybe. You know, look at stuff. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Uh, it, it's irritating to me. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, and he's uh, frustrated by this, this yeah. whole thing. Like this is, she's written a short story. This is a novella script. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, she says it needs to be word perfect, you know, within reason. Yeah. You know, uh, th- 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 this is the most, um, I'm not nervous. You're nervous behavior uh, that has ever been. Right. And can, you know, that th- th- this is called out later on in the scene. Uh, but like this, Walt is uh, it perceives himself to be a master of this in the moment, right? Like, okay, this just kind of comes natural to him to come up with these stories. Skylar, out of her insecurity about it, can construct a plausible story, but there is all of this sweat that goes into it, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I was I was ready to push back against that because I misunderstood what you meant. I thought you were. Saying that Walt is projecting his nervousness. No, no, no. This but is no, Walt, yeah, Walt this, School is a cucumber. Walt yeah, this is Skyler. doesn't give a shit. Yeah. yeah. This is Skylar being very nervous about it. Yeah. Um, and I think a little bit like happy to take control of a thing. Oh god, yeah. A little bit. Like Skylar's eating this up uh-huh. between this and the car wash and stuff. Yeah. Like she's again, she's this dark Skylar. She's getting in love with the game a little bit. <laughs> I I I I, lo- I love their interaction in this scene because it is very clearly two actors going over going over lines. Like, mm. you know, just like they'll read something and then talk about delivery. Uh, it's just, it's very cute. Yeah. This is a good scene. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, you know, Walt's like, why are we even doing this? You told Marie, of course, Marie has told Hank. It's Marie yeah. we're talking about. Uh, and, uh, you know, she says, no, I, I know she hasn't. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's like, well, why aren't they questioning, you know, why we're paying for everything? Mm-hmm. You know, why, why would we do that? the question, the reason why, and he goes, well, you questioned, you didn't do that. Yeah. You know, or she says, you, we still can't tell him. Yeah. That. He's still, even though we're going to tell him this story, he still needs to think his insurance is paying for everything. Yes. Yeah. Uh, you know, th- that will come later if ever. Right. Yes. Um, and Walt is like, okay, so, you know, like, what's the big deal? Why can't we say it? And then she throws Gretchen and Gretchen and Elliot's money, uh, back, you know, back in his face yeah. saying you like, wouldn't you, do it. yeah, you wouldn't do it. So like, you know, why would you assume that it's different? Oh, because it's not happening to you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, saying Hank and Walt have in common. Yeah. Like, neither of them would be okay with this. Mm-hmm. Um, no. Sarah's like, yeah, no, we're going to come clean to, you know, Hank Marie. And then she kind of catches her word, you know, when junior comes up, you know, come mostly clean. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so and Skylar starts breaking down the approach, like what they're going to do, <laughs> you know, uh, I'm going to start with the exciting news. They were buying a car wash. You know, like, yay. <laughs> I love the yay. Yeah. <laughs> Just, uh, nobody, uh, has, nobody has ever, has ever sincerely said yay. Yeah. Oh, we, we do it all the time. We go, yay. Like, yeah, with okay. something, like we do yeah, it all the time. Okay. Uh, that, that's literally like once that's a week. Little, yeah, I suppose. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's something that In real life. I, it's an artifice yes. here. Yeah. It is an artifice. I don't feel anything. <laughs> um, so, so, so uh, yeah, she's like, oh, hold on to your hats because this story is a doozy. Yeah. And Walt is critical of her writing. <laughs> this is why her short story collection didn't sell. Um, the, he, uh, he doesn't say and, that. That would be a really no, dick thing to say. really mean. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, I like the quiet subplot of Skylar maybe not being a good fiction writer. Mm-hmm. Um, the uh, Walt starts getting frustrated by the fiction they're selling. Yes. You know, he's frustrated by the line, uh, you know, terribly, terribly ashamed. But he's like, I wouldn't say terribly twice. That's not my voice. Mm-hmm. Also, why should I be ashamed? Right. You know, of this. Like, I just did this for my family. This is ridiculous. He's starting to, this is the beginning of him rankling. Uh, this is a, a shade of the website. Yes. Like, he cannot not take credit for this thing. He's made all these sacrifices. He's put himself through real hell. Mm-hmm. He wants credit for it. Yes. Yeah. Um, and he, you know, because Skylar wrote this, he feels like she is using this as a weapon against him to yeah. put words in his mouth, um, to at least make it appear, uh, that he is more contrite than he is. Right. Yep. You know, and you know, just like, uh, I'm, I'm coming out terrible in this. You know, just say like, and ask, you know, where's the, I slept with my boss bullet point. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Big news. We're buying a car wash and I fucked Ted. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, you know, he's like, you know, Junior is going to see me as weak. And uh, Skyler says, well, at least you won at gambling. I'm just the bitch mom who wouldn't cut you any slack. You know, and <laughs> that, uh, I love this. Is, I, well, this, the, 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 bi- the, the bitch mom line is very much Skyler looking directly at the camera and talking to the audience. Yes. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, and I love Walt being like, Skyler, I'm truly sorry for what I put you through. How does that sound? <laughs> like, you know, he's not biting that, you know, yeah. he's still kind of sticking to his guns a little bit. Yeah. Uh, and she, you know, you should look down with remorse, you know, uh, he's like, you know, don't want to stage directions. You don't have to mean it, mm-hmm. you know? Uh, and this is where Skylar starts thinking, you know, maybe I'll tear up at this. Mm-hmm. Uh, Walt's like, Oh, are you just going to cry on cue? And this is shades of how are you going to uh, shoot? You know, yeah. uh, when he's quizzing Jesse. Mm hmm. Yeah. about uh, using the gun you know which eye are you going to use how many tears you know which bullet how many bullets you're going to fire one or two you name yeah. the head of the chest yeah it's, it's, it's him doing that and he's, he's throwing her approach back at her too like oh yes. she's you know, she, she's bossing around about all these details or whatever um and, and, and needling her back right yes and you know she says you know devastating line you know just maybe line doesn't come as easily to me as it does to you right yes yeah uh they show up they show up at hank and marie's you know, they, they're very dour and then the door opens, they turn on their, their glee. Mm-hmm. You know? Showtime. Uh, they haven't seen him in a while. Uh, Hank goes to show in the mineral collection, uh, <laughs> you know, and Walt starts giving him a, a push. He's like, no, 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 you know, don't yeah. do that. Yeah. This is, this is going to make me sound like the most petty, like TV trope person in the world. Mm-hmm. Nobody closes the door. <laughs> uh, it just magically closes when they walk away. Okay. I don't know why I noticed it. Okay. I was just like, close the door. And it's, I think it's because I own cats. Oh. I was like, you, you don't open a door and then just hang out in the doorway for a long time and then walk in and leave the door open. No, no. You know, what if Hank Jr. gets out? <laughs> like, what if little Minerally gets out? <laughs> I, I, it was really bothering me. And then when they go down the hallway, it's closed as yeah. if some kind of magic wizard closed it <laughs> off camera. Am I to believe that? <laughs> just, wild. 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 Uh, so, uh, Hank's trying to share his interest, right? He has this rock collection and, uh, and, and junior is asking questions, you know, like, oh, well, you know, why does this, uh, why, why, why is this pink? And Hank says, oh, you know, that, that, that's, that, that's the manganese, you know, I do that. That's, that was part of the name I read off. And it's like, yeah, you know, just, it oxidizes or something. And then Walt um, seemingly automatically, I don't read a lot of malice into this. This is more just thoughtless, not recognizing what this kind of means, means for Hank starts rattling off manganese science facts about it, about, mi- about the mineral developing a, a pink patina. Walt's just completely bored by this. Yeah. He, he can't, you know, he's not, I don't think he's stunting, you no. know, he's, he's not trying to upstage him he's no, just no it's here's it, some stuff about rocks it's just yeah, it, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm going to say thoughtless but but by that i just mean reflexive right yeah he's he's also nervous about what's coming up yeah yeah you know uh and hank's like oh you know check this out mm-hmm. uh, he gets out his folio pulls out a dvd you know and walt's like hey this isn't gonna be footage of a dead body is it like, no, no, no a no, valid no. worry <laughs> A very valid worry because Hank does that shit. Yeah, cops do that. Yeah, uh, you know, well, Hank's done it. Uh-huh. You know, like take a look at this guy. You know, and showed him uh, what's his head. Uh-huh. The, uh huh. The uh, oh yeah, guy. yeah, our, our arms crush McGee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and hits play, and it's a video of Gail doing solo karaoke uh-huh. uh, in Thai of Major Tom uh, <laughs> by Peter Schilling. <laughs> um, a song I have a lot of affection for, uh-huh. uh huh, and that I think is one of the weirdest things that's ever happened. <laughs> like to just be like, I'm gonna like 15 years later, I'm gonna continue the story of Space Oddity <laughs> uh, here in a cool 80s pop jam. Yeah, uh, so weird. Yeah, a, a, a very bizarre pop cultural product. Um, Super weird. The, yeah. the Major Tom extended universe between this. <laughs> Space Oddity and Ashes to Ashes, like there is yeah. a complete story. Uh huh. Oh, there shouldn't be. No, no. You know, I, and, and, uh, I mean, and, and then ultimately in the Black Star video. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Like Major Tom has a complete arc. Mm hmm. Um, but I love the, I love this performance. Like, uh, uh, Junior and Hank are laughing yeah, at this because yeah. it's, it's real dorky. And, uh, Walt looks like he's just seen a ghost. Yeah. Walt is terrified. Right. Uh, it's so good. Like, oh, no. oh shit. 
Yeah. You know? Uh-oh. I don't um, want these dots connected at all. No, no. This is yeah. this is really bad news. Um, David Costabile's performance on singing it's the song. Uh, he, yeah. he's, he is just so committed um, and, uh, you know, dancing along and doing all of the emoting. Uh, the full video mm-hmm. is up online. Like, you can see his performance of the whole song. Uh, mm-hmm. it, it is entirely lived in. Uh, I, I, yeah. I, I adore it. That man is a real treasure. Yeah. Uh, absolutely wonderful in Flight of the Concord. This is yeah. the first time I saw that actor. <laughs> uh, after a commercial break, we're in the middle of the confession scene. Uh, yes. I love, you know, that they don't make us watch the whole thing since we watch it being rehearsed. Mm-hmm. You know, we just get to the climax. Yes. You know, uh, Walt's face, Skylar managed to cry and Walt's you know, surprised by this. And Hank and Junior are impressed. Yeah. You know, that's wild. And Junior, again, is not having the thing, you know, Walt thought he looked awful, but Junior's very impressed. Yeah. Dad, you're such a stud. How much did you win exactly? You know, yeah. and, you know, just enough to buy this car wash. Right. Yeah. Um, and Junior asks, like, if you were making so much, why did you quit? You know, can I, you know, can I get a car for my birthday now? This is life changing for Junior. Right. Yeah. Like the, the, their, their home life has been defined, not, not, not quite by poverty, but by, you know, struggling to make uh, ends meet. Some yeah. scarcity, yeah. you know, so, some middle-class scarcity. Yes. Yeah. You know, they have, uh, and Walt excuses himself. He's still thinking about Hank having the, the Gale tape. Yes. Um, so he goes to rifle through that folio to see what Hank has. Uh, Hank calls him out to see how he's doing. I like this scene a lot. Mm-hmm. You know, they run in the hallway and Hank's like, Hey, that, yeah, that's a hell of a story. That couldn't have been hard for you. Or that couldn't you know, have been easy. Need, yeah. Or could have been easy for you. If you ever need to bend my ear, I'm here. Yeah. yeah. You know, this is, this Hank has traditionally had a hard time opening up. You know, he's, he has masculine blocks yeah. in terms of being emotionally available, Yeah. but he wants to. Mm-hmm. You know, like he, he's not through lack of desire. Yeah. Uh, right. and he's, he's experienced his own, you know, solitude, right? 100%. Like yeah. th- this is, you know, the way that we talk about how Breaking Bad is some, in some, di- some ways a show about masculinity. Mm-hmm. This is a thing that's part of it. You yeah. Know? And Walt sees a tactical advantage here. Yes. You know, Hey, you know, I could also, I think right back at you, I could be a sounding board for you. Like if you have any casework or anything, yeah. it's pretty clumsy, uh-huh. you know, but it works because. Hank is in a position where he wants to help Walt. Yeah. He's not, I don't think that he is being in this, in this moment, particularly, uh, critical or, um, you know, wary mm-hmm. of anything. He's, he's just like, okay, yeah, whatever you want, big guy. I'm, I'm worried about you. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So he's doing this to get, you know, to, to get on, get on the inside mm-hmm. with Hank's investigation into this, but it, the artificiality is elided. Yes. You know, Hank just yeah. doesn't notice it. Right. Um, you know, so Hank goes in and we start walking through the files, you know, through the pages of the notebook. Um, and this is where Walt learns that Hank has been looking for Heisenberg for over a year and a half. Yeah. The the tone about this, though, is Hank is over it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I, you know, I basically got him. I just want to see, you know, I'm looking at the chemistry. Can you just tell me if there's anything there? Yeah. Uh, Walt looks, he says, why are there these baking ingredients? And he says, no, these are vegan s'mores. There's a list of top 10 recumbent bicycles. Top 10. Uh, indoor composting tips. Like this guy's a fucking dork. Yeah. 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 You know? <laughs> mm-hmm. um, and then um, a, f- a very famous meme scene mm-hmm. happens here. Yeah. Um, I mean, I just, it, it, it's also something that is called back to. Um, yes. you know, when, when Hank makes his realization, right. Yeah. Um, you know, he just points out this inscription on the, on the inner cover of this, you know, to WW, my star, my perfect silence. Uh, yeah. and, and Hank is joking about like, you know, who could that be? You know, just th- throwing stuff out there kind of to kind of to fill the, f- fill the air because Walt's not saying anything. Yeah. You know, like, Walt, oh. Walt is so clearly nervous during this. Oh yeah, yeah. And, and again, he has that. I love the way that the cover story is providing cover for two things mm-hmm. here. Like the cover story is providing cover as intended for the money. It's also providing cover for why he could be acting like such a freak yeah. during this. Like he is acting like such a nervous criminal mm-hmm. during this. And it's like, yo, know, but again, Hank could buy it. Yeah. Like he just went through this big confession. Mm-hmm. And yeah. so Hank's like, you know, Woodrow Wilson, Willy Wonka, he pauses, Walter White. And Walt yeah. puts his hands up, you know, mock, I'm about to be arrested. You got me. You know, like, <laughs> good, good joke. But he, he looks like he's trying to swallow a skateboard yeah, he's sideways. Trying not to cry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you, uh, if anyone hasn't seen it, go on YouTube and treat yourself to the, the, 
cut that Dean Norris did where he just lists WW names for like a two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> it's very funny. Real big Christopher Guest in um, yeah. <laughs> in Best in Show Energy. <laughs> it's very funny. Uh, and then Walt, you know, figures out a way to. Uh, and I also like the idea of Walt maybe feeling a little bit weird that. There's in the notebook it says to <laughs> WW my star my perfect silence. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> like oh, oh, dude. whoa okay <laughs> okay I didn't you know you're blowing oh, I'm my this mind. guy's best friend that's a uh, that's that's weird <laughs> um, but he he sees a way out of this you know he flips through he sees a drawing of Walt Whitman and the the learned astronomer uh, astronomer poem mm-hmm. and and says no no it's it, WW is Walt Whitman yeah Walt see Whitman. And it's perfect silence you know, it's, it's an allusion yeah. to this poem Walt Whitman uh, and he yeah. calls him a brainiac right like oh he made the connection yep. yeah yeah that's been bugging me mm-hmm. you know. Uh, and Walt says, oh, you know, you think the scale is Heisenberg, you know, and he's like, yeah, this is probably my guy, you know, it kind of sucks because I wanted to get him, mm-hmm. you know, uh, it looks like you did. No, 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 I wanted to do it. Yeah. I want to slap the cuffs out of myself, you know, like Popeye Doyle, you know, in the French <laughs> connection. And Walt says Popeye Doyle didn't actually catch him <laughs> in, the, in the French connection. <laughs> uh, probably not um, the time. Just let, let him, let him have his, let him have his in, yeah. imperfect reference. Yeah. The, the important thing here at this point is. Hank's off the case, basically. Yeah. He was interested, but Walt has successfully shaken him until yeah. he fucks it up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And Walt asks about the shooter. Like, okay, so this guy got shot in his own apartment. Uh, you know, like, what do you know about him? Uh, fishing to see how much trouble he's in, right? Because it's, yeah. it's a murder. And Hank says, oh, there's a description and there are some prints on the scene. Uh, yeah. big, that's APD's problem. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and also Walt's problem. Big fucking yeah. deal. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, cause Jesse was there. So Walt goes to Jesse's place, uh, has to push his way past that sleeping guy, mm-hmm. with the money in his mouth, like steps on a meth pipe. It's again, disgusting. Yeah. And Jesse has his head shaved now mm-hmm. uh, and he's shaving another guy's head. It's full on project mayhem at this point. Super. I, I, I love that. He's like, you know, can we talk? He's like, you're going to have to wait. This guy's next. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> Sorry. Your head's um, already shaved. <laughs> yeah, it's it's real good. Uh, you know, and he you know, would you stop what you're doing and he pulls him into a hallway. Yeah. Uh here. And he's like, listen, Gail's murder is being investigated. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, their fingerprints, and Jesse is avoiding this, you know, at first. You know, fingerprints yeah. aren't mine. If they were, your asshole brother would have already gotten me. He's got such a hard on for me. Yeah. You know. And Walt starts doing his what are the details? You yes. know, uh, we have to have every detail perfect. Were there shell casings? How many times did you fire? Mm-hmm. And Jesse starts shutting down. Yeah. Like he does not want to relive this. Yeah. Um, this is so well depicted by Aaron Paul. Like yeah. you can kind of see the beats of what happened as he is being forced to relive it as Walt is re-traumatizing him. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, you know, did you pick up the casings? No, I didn't pick up the casings. Yeah. Uh, you know, he's going over it like, you know, did you knock her ring? Knock her ring, Jesse. Mm-hmm. Uh, and Jesse can't handle it. He eventually breaks off and goes, hey, does anyone want to make a hundred dollars uh, and to kick Walt out? Yeah. I ain't fucking doing this. Yeah. No. Uh, so Walt goes to Saul's for a scene that mirrors when Skylar tried to use her divorce attorney as a therapist. Right. Yeah, um, I can see that. Yeah. Um, yeah. But he's here, you know, talking about this possibility of Hank going after Jesse, right? Um, and Saul very insensibly says, uh, goes after him how? On his rascal scooter? Yeah, <laughs> and, very you know, mean. And he realizes but, when he gets it, you know, like, yeah, no, okay, so that was probably a bit yeah. much. No, no, remember the get out of jail free card. Mm-hmm. Hank's not going to do that. Uh, and Walt says, you know, uh, so he's not going to pursue him. And Walt says, like, you know, he's like, what are you worried about? What shouldn't I worry about? Mm-hmm. You know, Gus is going to kill me. Jess, Jesse's living in this horrible house, mm-hmm. you know, uh, and this is, you know, I can see the, the therapy angle to mm-hmm. this. This works on Saul. Like yes. this actually does scare him. Right. Yes. So it's, it's not, he's not, you know, doing lawyer stuff. He's like, you know, nobody is safe. I'm the only person capable of acting like a professional, which mm-hmm. is not true. And Saul's like, oh shit, you mm-hmm. know, has my name come up with these people? Yeah. You know, at all. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, I, I say it's therapizing because there's obviously nothing to be done right now. He he is yeah. he is just talking. He is just summing up these things that are the, the, you know that are weighing on him. You know, um, yeah, yeah. And just uh, you know, just laying this out, and this does get this this does get Saul spooked, right? Yeah, he does you need know. to talk to somebody. 
yeah. you know, as a thing. He needs to get this out. Yeah. And, um, you know, so yeah. how, how, like, how could everything get this screwed up? And Saul says, yeah, you do have a little shit creek, ap- you know, shit creek action happening, but you can buy a paddle, you yep. know, for a substantial uh, fee. And I mean, substantial, I've got a guy who can just dis- make you disappear. Yeah. You and your whole family. Yeah. A disappearer. Like it's the end game. There's no coming back. Do you know, do you want his card? <laughs> uh, there and well, it doesn't he's not out of the game yet? No, you know, this no. is a fail state. Uh, I gotta find a way to save Jesse from this, yeah. Yeah, um, so uh, Jesse, uh, you know, he leaves his lady who is in bed, puts out a cigarette on the floor, and as he leaves, that zombie guy is ranting, mm-hmm. uh, you know, turns on the stereo, he's going to work, yeah. Uh, and he he tells the zombie guys, like, hey, make sure there's pizza when I get back, you know, <laughs> and dipping sticks. And the guy's like, you know, the cash situation, you know, yeah, which, and I'll, Jesse doesn't have any. There. Right. So um, he, 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 he goes, he goes upstairs, you know, he has no money. He goes upstairs to get money. And this guy who's sitting on the futon behind the ranting dude, um, you know, eyes this motion meaningfully, right? It looks a little bit like Dave Navarro. A little bit. Yeah. This guy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but, uh, you know, obviously there's money in the house and he goes up there to get it. You know, Jesse's been making it rain, right? Yep. Uh, he leaves at the lab. Walt notices that the camera is just tracking Jesse. Yes. Like there, there's a problem here. Yeah. Um, after work, Jesse gets home. Everyone's eating pizza. Mm-hmm. So that works. Uh, he throws baggies of blue meth everywhere. <laughs> uh, you know, and I like this little misdirect. Uh, yeah. He grabs a lady and you think that he's just, you know, fucking his way through the Albuquerque meth community. No. Yeah. Uh, you know, goes upstairs, finds the missing money, but he doesn't care about that. He also doesn't have sex. They sit down and play Sonic. <laughs> uh, All star racing. Yep. <laughs> um, and that, you know, I, I didn't notice how unusual it was <laughs> that he didn't yeah. take her up for sex. Uh, well, yeah, like, like it, we, the implication got... that these women are sleeping in his bed and he's just playing video games with them. <laughs> like, cause he, again, he wants distraction at this point. Yes. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh. yeah, uh, I love this scene. I love, mm-hmm. I love this, uh, this next scene. The next morning, Mike's there to wake him up, you know, mm-hmm. uh, Jesse asks about his ear cause it's all bandaged up. <laughs> Mike has him go downstairs, you know, where is everybody? I asked, I invited your guests to leave, <laughs> uh, you know, but there's a, the Dave Navarro is bound and gagged on the floor. Yeah. Yeah. It's the guy, yeah. it's the guy who stole, stole Jesse's money. You know, and Tyrus is yep. there, you know, he, he, he kicks the stolen bag of money over, you know, is, is, is that yeah. your $78,000? Right. Looks like it. Thanks. You know, mm-hmm. like you recognize this guy. No, you should. He's been living at your house for three days, <laughs> you know? And Mike says, you want to know what's going to happen to him? Jesse goes, no. And he goes, you sure you don't want to know? And mm-hmm. Jesse's like, I don't care. Like I see what you're doing. Yeah. Like you're, you're trying to get me to beg you not to do it or whatever. I, you know, and Mike is furious at being called out. Yeah. Like, listen, you're on thin ice. And Jesse goes, listen, you know, you're a fake. I know you're not going to kill the guy because you put a blindfold on him. <laughs> Why would you do that if you were going to kill him? I and mean, d- demonstrating um, his aptitude for this. Yeah. 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 He's, I mean, he, again, he's Jesse's arc right now is wanting all of the gamesmanship gone. Yes. Like, let's just all say what is happening mm-hmm. all the time. Yeah. You know, I'm no longer in, this is not fun for me anymore. Yeah. You know? And um, so Mike, you know, frustrated with the disrespect, goes to report to Gus, you know, that back yeah. office and says, hey, you know, Pinkman is a liability. He's going to draw attention. Um, you know, something needs to be done no matter how Walt feels. And yep. this is you know, he, not, very ominous. This is menacing. Yep. Uh, Walt goes to work, uh, you know, checks his watch. Jesse's very late. He goes, you know, sets everything up and then takes a break to go to Jesse's house. Mm-hmm. Leaves a message, message after message, uh, same thing Skyler was doing about mm-hmm. car washes. Uh, no one answers. Jesse won't answer his phone. Yeah. And he notices a window open. So he breaks in. Yeah. Um, and again, uh, shades of the, the Skyler thing. Yes. He calls and sees the phone in Jesse's yeah. uh, room. I, I like how he's angry when he's outside, but when he gets in and sees that the house is completely empty, yeah. um, you know, as he's calling for Jesse, like he starts, he starts getting really, really worried. You know, up until yeah. he sees, okay, he's gone and his phone is not here, you know, and yep. then he goes back to the lab uh, and shouts into the camera asking, where, where is he? Yeah, uh, where's but, Jesse? Yeah, where's Jesse? And uh, we end on this cliffhanger with Mike driving Jesse out into the desert, the place where people are killed. 
Um, yes. And Mike asks, you know, you're going to ask where we're going. And Jesse says, nope. Like, nope. He does not. He does not care. He does not care. if he He's been expecting dies. this. Yes. You know, for, for like, it was only a matter of time. Mm hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah. And that's the end of the episode. Big cliffhanger. Yeah. yeah. Jesse going to be murdered. Mm hmm. Yeah. Uh, really, really thrilling when it happened. You know, great, great episode. <laughs> uh, the uh, excited to keep going. Yeah. You know, we're back. Um, yeah. Really good Walton Schuyler stuff in this. I, I, I love that very long scene of them going over the lines, going over the, the, the bullet points. Um, mm-hmm. Like that had to be very difficult. <laughs> Usually, you want you 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 look at something that is like the um uh the the, the refrigerator truck scene, like oh yeah, that's like a high degree of difficulty. That is a whole lot of effort to make something look uh, dangerous and high stakes. You know, it's a very dramatic thing to happen, but like what they did in that line reading mm-hmm. scene, like that's also a, it, it evinces a very high degree of difficulty as well yeah to me yeah it's well uh, it's well seen it's, a, it's well, a, uh, well acted yeah it's yeah. a it's really impressive right yep yeah so. it's good mm-hmm. he's good he's good uh yeah excited to watch more mm-hmm. uh, what can they do if they like the show if they like the show, they can go to patreon.com slash duckvtv. Uh, there they can support this show and the other shows that we do like it on our network. Um, and uh, also get some bonus content in between. If you like us talking about media, uh, don't care about video games, there's something there for you. Uh, we have a ho- uh, show that we do about horror movies. Uh, yeah. Sure. You know, a little bit before we recorded this episode, we're a little bit ahead. But like we just did an episode about Blue Velvet. Breaking Bad, yeah. not very Lynchian, but if you like, you know, prestige drama kind of stuff, maybe you'll want to listen to a podcast about Blue Velvet. It's there for you. Yeah, it's fun, I think. Um, yeah, we we think it's good. Mm-hmm. Um, the uh, Yeah, and check out all the other shows, too. There are tons more. Yeah. You know, uh, range reviews, telling your friends, all the things that normal podcast things are great. Yes. Do them. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and join us in thanking our producer, Gwen. Thank you, Gwen. Uh, and uh, until next time, you know, uh, take yes for an answer. Yeah, people all enough alone, Walt. Yeah. <laughs> <You know. sighs>